Welcome back to our channel, Breaking News Now. Ever witnessed a river morph into a hue of orange? Today we cast our gaze towards an extraordinary event happening in Alaska, where rivers, including the Salmon River in Kobuk Valley National Park, are metamorphosing into a dramatic shade of orange. This isn't a tale confined to Alaska, it's a sight beheld throughout the Arctic. Many attribute this strange occurrence to climate change, the evident suspect. The thawing permafrost, a layer of soil that stays frozen all year round, is thought to be a major contributing factor. As the permafrost thaws, iron from the bedrock seeps into the rivers, resulting in the peculiar orange tint. Now you might wonder why such a situation should concern us. The answer lies in the potential ecological impact of these orange rivers. Numerous communities and wildlife hinge on these waters for fish and sustenance. Any significant alterations in the river's composition could resonate far into the ecosystem and the livelihoods of those reliant on these waters. The United States Geological Survey, the USGS, is on the case, conducting an all-inclusive study to uncover the occurrence and causes of these orange rivers in Alaska. The discoveries of this study will be vital in comprehending the extensive implications of what is known as climate change in the Arctic and formulating strategies to curtail potential impacts. Interestingly, there are those who interpret this phenomenon through a different lens. Some argue that what being termed climate change aligns with the prophecies in the Bible about the last days as the vials are poured out upon the earth. In conclusion, the orange rivers of Alaska serve as a glaring symbol of the intricate and often erratic effects of climate change, or some might argue that it's the unfolding of biblical prophecies. As the permafrost thaws and iron leaches from the bedrock, our rivers are turning orange with implications that could be profound for local ecology and communities. As we anticipate further revelations from the ongoing USGS study, we are reminded of the urgency for global action to tackle these changes. After all, the health of our rivers, ecosystems, and the communities that depend on them is precariously poised. Now that we have explored the scientific perspective of the orange rivers in Alaska, let's delve into a different interpretation. In the Bible, the book of Revelations chapter 16, there's an intriguing prophecy that might sound familiar. The prophecy speaks of a time when rivers and springs of water would turn into blood. Could the orange rivers of Alaska be a manifestation of this prophecy? Revelation 16 is part of the apocalyptic literature, a genre that deals with end-time prophecies. It describes seven vials of God's wrath being poured out on the earth. The third vial is poured onto rivers and springs, turning them into blood. While the prophecy does not specify the color orange, it does indicate a significant change in the color and composition of the waters, reminiscent of our orange rivers. This interpretation has stirred up a debate among religious scholars and environmental scientists. Some religious scholars argue that the orange rivers are a sign of the prophecy's fulfillment, marking the beginning of the end times. On the other hand, environmental scientists caution against such literal interpretations stating that the orange color is a result of natural processes exacerbated by climate change. Whether you believe in prophecies or not, the orange rivers of Alaska are a stark reminder of the changes happening to our planet. It's a manifestation of the ecological imbalance we've caused. The orange rivers serve as a wake-up call, urging us to take immediate action and prepare for the inevitable. Whether we see them as a biblical prophecy or a signal of climate change, the message is clear. We need to protect our environment. It's time for us to decide how we respond. Like, share, and subscribe for more updates.